yeah, there's a heat warning in Toronto and I have to wear three layers. In many jurisdictions, you're admitted to the bar. Here in Ontario, you're called to the bar. And this conveys to you that it's more than just a job, it's a calling. By the authority vested in me by convocation, pursuant to the statutes, I confer upon each of you the degree of barrister at law and call each of you to the bar of Ontario. profession that long arduous path has come to fruition. Finally, a licensed lawyer here in Ontario, and the last step in that process was to get called to the bar. There were a lot of little steps uh, before I got to walk across the stage, and I break them down for you in this video. As I finished up my articling, I received a document from the Law Society outlining the next steps in the call to the bar process. There are two types of calls, the administrative call and the ceremonial call. The administrative call does not require in-person attendance, but a ceremonial call does. After completing three semesters of law school and all of articling virtually, I really wanted to be called to the bar in person, so I opted for the ceremonial call. There is a $250 plus tax uh, fee that I had to pay to the Law Society for a ceremonial call. I was sent two forms that had to be completed and submitted to the Law Society. One was the affidavit for taking the oath for call, and the second was the petition for call to the bar and certificate of fitness. I had my articling principal commission these documents for me. These documents must be completed and submitted to the Law Society to be eligible for the call to the bar in Ontario. Keep an eye out on your lawyer licensing process account for any new messages with these documents. I was also required to take an oath before a commissioner for taking affidavits. Uh, okay. Do I have to put my hand <laughs> up or anything? Okay. Um, I accept the honor and privilege, duty, and responsibility of practicing law as a barrister and solicitor in the province of Ontario. What do candidates wear? Court attire is required at the call to the bar because new barristers at law are being presented to the courts at the ceremony. A special sitting of the Court of Appeal for Ontario and the Superior Court of Justice is convened whenever the ceremony takes place. As a result of this procedure, the gowning rules for these courts apply to the new barristers at law who are present for their call to the bar ceremony. Ceremonial call to the bar candidates must appear before convocation and the court in full court attire, which can be rented or purchased, and consists of black shoes, black or dark gray socks, black, dark gray, or dark gray striped trousers or skirt, black gown vest, black gown, and a white shirt with stiff wing collar and white tab. There are several different robing companies that offer robe rentals for a call to the bar. These companies also offer robes for purchase. Everyone's situation is different. If you know ahead of time that you'll be working in a litigation role, which requires um, more frequent court appearances, and then perhaps purchasing the robes is a better option for you. My current role in-house does not require court attendance, so I opted instead to borrow the robes as I won't be needing the robes as often. Ended up borrowing the robes from my friend's sister to keep costs low. Um, typically, the robing rental companies charge as, as upwards of $200 for the day. If you're in the same position as me and don't want to purchase robes, then reach out to your network. You'd be surprised by how many lawyers are willing to lend their robes for your special day. You can also use the hashtag robe call on Twitter to field your requests. What happens at a call to the bar ceremony? At the call to the bar, the treasurer of the Law Society of Ontario will confer upon each candidate the degree of barrister at law. Upon these candidates who have completed the licensing process, passed the prescribed licensing examinations, and fulfilled all other requirements, the degree of barrister at law and call them to the bar of Ontario. By the authority vested in me by convocation and pursuant to the statutes, I confer upon each of you the degree of barrister at law and call each of you to the bar of Ontario. I think that's worth a cheer. The newly called members will then be sworn in and admitted as solicitors of the Court of Appeal of Ontario and the Superior Court of Justice. To present the candidates whose names are before you. These candidates have complied with the rules of the Law Society and have been called to the bar in convocation today. I would ask that they be allowed to take the usual oaths. Madame la juge en chef adjoint, 
Au nom de la Trésorière et du Conseil du Barbeau de l'Ontario, je vous présente les candidates et candidats dont les noms apparaissent devant vous. Ces candidats et candidates se sont conformés au règlement du Barbeau et ont été assermentés aujourd'hui. Je vous demande de leur permettre de prêter les serments d'usage. Shall I proceed to administer the oath, Associate Chief Justice? Yes, please. I will now administer the oath of allegiance and the oath in both English and French. Upon the conclusion of each oath in English, I will say the words, so help you God, or do you so affirm? You will then make your response of, I do, clear and audible. Do you swear or affirm that you will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, or heirs and successors according to law, so help you God, or do you so affirm? Thank you all candidates will now take the oath. You accept the honor and privilege, duty and responsibility of practicing law as a barrister and solicitor in the province of Ontario. You shall protect and defend the rights and interests of such persons as may employ you. You shall conduct all cases faithfully and to the best of your ability. You shall neglect no one's interest and shall faithfully serve and diligently represent the best interests of your client. You shall not refuse causes of complaint reasonably founded, nor shall you promote suits upon frivolous pretenses. You shall not pervert the law to favor or prejudice anyone, but in all things, you shall conduct yourself honestly and with integrity and civility. You shall seek to ensure access to justice and access to legal services. You shall seek to improve the administration of justice. You shall champion the rule of law and safeguard the rights and freedoms of all persons. You shall strictly observe and uphold the ethical standards that govern your profession. All this do you swear or affirm to observe and perform to the best of your knowledge and ability so help you God, or do you so affirm? That duty is done, Associate Chief Justice. C'est de voir et compter le juge en chef adjoint. All the candidates may now be seated. Approximately two months after we are licensed, we are expected to receive in the mail the LSO and court certificate. These certificates are not required to start practicing. We can start immediately upon being called to the bar. My call to the bar was scheduled for 9.30 in the morning and candidates were expected to be at the venue for 8 a.m. Hello. We're heading to Toronto for my call today and of course it's the hottest day of the year. 33 degrees? Yeah, there's a heat warning in Toronto and I have to wear three layers for one, two, three. Yeah, three layers and it's gonna be fun. Thoughts? Not about it. I'm fine, I'm wearing a polo. I did not get there until 8.30 and as you can imagine, I was pretty stressed out about missing my call and getting licensed. The ceremony does not start until 9.30, so keeping that in mind kept me from breaking down. Each candidate was permitted to have five guests required to book these tickets in advance on the Roy Thompson Hall venue website. And the tickets were then emailed out to each candidate who was then required to um, send those tickets out to their five guests. Good morning. Convocation will now come to order. La séance de conseil est ouverte. I'd ask that you remain standing for the national anthem that will be performed by Erica Iris. Thank you. I'm going to take this opportunity to say a few brief words, firstly about the legal profession, that, uh, and secondly about serving communities and the public interest. Dealing first with the profession of law, in many jurisdictions you're admitted to the bar. Here in Ontario you're called to the bar, and this conveys that it's more than just a job. It's more than a business, it's a calling. Benjamin Cardozo, the famous American jurist, put it this way, being a lawyer is a privilege, 
overlaying with responsibilities. I can reflect briefly on that history and your unique place in that history. In the early days, to be called to the bar, you would have articled for five years. Instead of there being a call ceremony like this, you would be called in and examined by me. Well, it wouldn't be me because it wouldn't be a woman back then. Uh, and I, I'm only the fifth woman treasurer in 225 years. So proud and so pleased to say that for the first time in 225 years, the role of a treasurer will pass from a woman to a woman, and Jacqueline Horvat will become the treasurer. So, if I can get back to what I was saying, you'd be asked questions by the treasurer, who would be a man. You would go to convocation, and you would be asked these questions in front of convocation. You'd be asked general principles and specific legal principles and you would have no family and friends present. So today, you don't have to worry about being grilled by me, um, and we still hold the call in full convocation. You'll remember I told you this is a special sitting of convocation, our board. In 1936, we moved to call to the bar ceremonies where we invited family and friends. And now we have lots of cheering and shouting and video recording to preserve this once in a lifetime occasion. What you're wearing, how does it feel? <laughs> Good? Uh, I'm, I'm proud to say I've been wearing the same set of robes for 31 years. Wow. Um, so uh, it's what you're wearing, it, it, your robes has not changed. Since the beginning, you would appear in barrister's attire because you were, like today, will be presented to the court and so you are properly attired for your presentation to the court. I do note that during the First World War, the Law Society did allow students, though, to be called in uniform. So I give you that little bit of a history lesson because you have a unique place in our 225-year history. You are being called to the bar in the middle of a global pandemic, and you have had to study and article or be, do placements and work during a pandemic. And I think that has earned you a special place in the history of the Law Society. And Order, all rise. We mm -hmm. The sitting of this court is now concluded. God save the Queen. Could you protege la reine? That's a wrap on my lawyer licensing journey here in Ontario. It took four years of undergrad, LSATs, three years of law school, 10 months of articling, and two bar exams for me to officially call myself a lawyer. It's been a month since I got called to the bar and I'm finally settling into my new position in-house. It's been a long journey of becoming licensed, but it was a worthwhile one. I hope this video helps demystify the call to the bar experience and remove some confusion for you. And thank you for watching.